What is going on everybody? Hope you guys are feeling fired up for this one. Uh, today we're going to talk about Awakened Dragon. So let's get into the game and take a look here. I'm going to adjust my chair, yeah? Because old people have old people problems, like back problems. You might not know this yet, but that will come eventually. <laughs> I hope you guys are feeling good. Alright, so let's get in here. Uh, Awakened Dragon is certainly not the best awakening out there, but it is sort of the funnest. I really enjoy um, it, but it does definitely have a few downsides that I want to talk about here. So, let's get right into it. Uh, we're gonna just talk about uh, Dragon itself, uh, just the Awakened version. Of course, with the Elemental God, you can actually do some changes here and there, but uh, for today's video, we're just gonna talk about the Awakened Elements. I have it uh, 316 out of 500, and that is probably the reason why I think the damage isn't too, mm, I would say, too, like, wowzers, you know? Because the damage seems to be lacking in a few departments and it's quite difficult to level it up gotta be honest I was never a huge fan of dragon, but um, Yeah, let's get right to it. So uh, we're gonna start off with the first move, which is the uh, flamethrower There's a little bit of a trick that I can show you if you're in front of an enemy and you use it It only happens once but if you go a little bit further away and you use it uh, Sometimes you get you can see I did, did more damage sometimes it actually hits twice. There we go um, so playing with the distance with flamethrower. I don't know if that's supposed to be like that, but uh, Yeah, you can hold it and then boom boom you see it hits twice So that's much better than just standing in front of it and then doing it, but um, Especially with enemies you will notice that uh, Doing that will definitely improve the gameplay that you have with uh, flamethrower the next thing is roar I actually thought because when you're using this you're damaging everything uh, around you I mean it looks awesome right like if we come to uh, terms with it I take a look at it it looks really good but it is actually also like some sort of a beam basically later on you can do not a, not a beam but like a grenade like boom you release and then you actually shoot the targets um, you, you can see it if we go like out here and you see there is uh, uh, like a beam or like a fly, fire dash flash whatever so to speak, uh, that you can see. Right now, that looks pretty awesome. It looks pretty strong, like, uh, in here because it's so dark, and that's why it lights up the entire room. When you do the angelic uh, dungeon, it doesn't really look like that. Like, it doesn't really look this, this crazy. But the good thing about it is you actually do some damage uh, around yourself as well. So I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to show you. You do some damage as well, and at the end, boom, Kabowski. That's actually not bad. That's 462k. Again, this is not at Mastery 500. I will make another video at 500, but right now, I have sought such a different schedule that I can't even manage to do it. The next thing is Fire Blast. That's the C move, uh, which is a super simple, like, I, I really expected a little bit more from uh, Fire Blast. First of all, it doesn't do that many, that, that much damage. You can see it's about, yeah, 247,000, but that's because all of these guys were um, thinking if we would do it on a singular dummy. I don't know if that's even possible. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I wasn't too happy with that. I do like the roar. This looks awakened. This does look very nice. Uh, uh, but the fire blast, man, that's so underwhelming. Doesn't uh, it didn't it didn't strike me as like wow, like that's awakened. Like you gotta get that. But we're not done yet. The stuff is still gonna get very cool. The next thing is fireball shower. My in my eyes, it's probably the most damaging skill. You hold it down and you basically do that. Um, look at that. Look at the damage. Uh, I think it was 1.2 million right there. Uh, it's it does a lot of damage And I think if I have my mastery at 500 uh, it will thrive. It, it will be very strong It will be very strong. Look at that 1.2.5 basically 1.25 um, a uh, million. That is awesome. That is awesome. And then we come to the big crescendo, everybody. And that's going to be the transformation. There we go. So we're going to go into a dragon form here. And uh, the only thing that I have troubles with sometimes, because you can go up into the sky here, chill, and you can attack the dummy w without them attacking you. Uh, the only thing, the downside of this one is you can't fill out your fury meter. And let's use the F move. You can't aim downwards, which I think is a massive issue. Uh, uh, I, I wish uh, that would be non-existent. So if you're here, you can use F and then you're just damaging everybody. Super underwhelming damage, sadly. Um, I mean, this one's like 539k in transformation. I would have expected it to be a little bit more. But the only good thing, I, I guess that's how they balance it. You can really use it quite often again, as you can see here. Look at the cooldown. 
uh, the cooldown is going to go down very fast, so you can immediately uh, do that again. But it is kind of squishy because you can't aim it downwards. With the other skills, you can. Then we have the roar. Uh, you can see that's just the same skill. Uh, you're just aiming downwards. You cannot be hit, which is really, really strong. Uh, if you're using Fire Blast, it's the same thing. Uh, I think the radius might have increased, but uh, other than that, yeah. And then we have the Fireball Shower, which does the most damage, probably. Uh, that's, yeah, 1.25. What's that? Yeah, I think it was 1.25 again. Uh, but yeah, it's a little squishy. Uh, getting this guy here, getting into the right height, especially if you have, like, these tight... Um, dungeons that you're running uh, sometimes it can be quite quite uh, challenging to say the least at least you know and that is basically it uh, I'm gonna be doing some gameplay videos with this as well same as with Awaken Reaper probably the next coming up days so if you enjoy that kind of content if you enjoy these uh, showcases make sure to give it a like uh, please also write down if you actually like those moves or not into the comment section I read every single comment sometimes I don't always reply because it depends I'm chronically ill and I just like scroll through them but I do read all of them so please make sure to uh, write something down there if you have something to share anyways thank you very much for watching see you in the next video and yeah that's elemental dungeons that's awakened dragon ladies and gentlemen um, I do enjoy it just as a quick verdict I do enjoy it um, I want to see how good this will be at uh, 500 mastery. Uh, that is something that's on my mind right now because 500 mastery is interesting because it is already pretty strong. And this is not the corrupted version. This is the permanent dragon orb. So mm, I'm pretty sure this can get actually much stronger. I'm pretty sure it can actually go much higher. Um, and yeah, we'll see. We'll speak. Peace out.